this is a really interesting chemistry question. Why are the number of gases so non-reactive? So the first thing you need to know, the liberal gases are these ones over here, right on the far side of the periodic table. And like I said at the beginning of the question, they are really, really unreactive. All they do is sit around all day by the sea with their little cocktail, sun out, and they don't really do much. And the reason they don't do very much is all down to their electronic structure. If you're not sure about electronic structure, go and check out my other video that I've already done on this. But these, this is the electronic structure of two of the noble gases. Here we have neon and argon. And what is the important thing that, to notice about these two is they both have eight electrons on that outer shell. Eight here and eight here. Now hopefully you remember the electrons like to go in order. So two in the first cell, eight in the second shell, and eight in the third shell. And what an atom wants to do is get a full outer shell. It wants to get that noble arrangement of electrons. So here, neon already has a full outer shell, argon already has a full outer shell, so it doesn't want to do anything. He doesn't want to gain electrons, he doesn't want to lose electrons. It is very, very happy as it is with its full outer shell of electrons. So it just stays in it as it is. So this is a common exam question that they um, that I've seen them ask before. Why is argon used in light bulbs? Now, when um, we use a light bulb, what happens is electricity runs in here and then this bit of the filament here glows, heats up and glows um, red. Um, when they started doing light bulbs there was a bit of a problem because they used to have air, um, so like normal air in here so there was some oxygen in there and they used to keep catching on fire. So the reason argon is used in light bulbs is because it's unreactive which means when the bulb is lit up when the element is heated and glows red, it's not going to catch on fire. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Check out my website, bromoscreen.com, for any new videos, all the videos sorted by exam board, the blog, and any um, extra advice there is. Any comments, questions, topic requests, or um, corrections below.